My name is Nelson Ho Santiago. Uh, I was born in Harlem, but I was raised in the Bronx. I've loved art m my whole life. Uh, first time I, I did painted anything was I was about four years old. And it was my dad had brought me uh, some paint set that he found in his job, and I couldn't put it down. I was using it everywhere. I used to live, I used to live in Kingsbridge. And I used to come here all the time. I actually went to school in 231st. Um, I used to be in this park all the time. I used to go to the pool all the time. I knew, I was, yeah, I loved art, I loved drawing, I loved um, reading comic books. The art and comic books influenced me as well. Um, Growing up in the Bronx, I had a lot of artist friends growing up and they influenced me as well. Doing the live painting events, I started about 2009. Um, actually a friend of mine that uh, she's, uh, I reached out to her online and cause she um, to asked her advice because I saw that she was doing things like that with her brother, with her brothers, I'm sorry. And, um, and I wanted to get involved. So I sent her a, a, a message that I said, saying, if you can give me any advice, you know, I would like to know how can I get involved in doing live painting events and what have you. And she was so gracious with me. She was like, no, listen, just come with me. And that was, uh, she took me down to a place in, uh, in the city called the Bowery Poetry Club downtown. And that was the first time. Then she took me afterwards to another place in, um, up uh, in the in Barrio area. Um, and I was, hooked. I was hooked. So I started off just doing a lot of live, live painting events. And then from, from there forward, I got invited to uh, display work where I've displayed, I've displayed here in the city, I've Boston, LA, uh, Puerto Rico, um, San Francisco, places like that. My style is like, a, I'm like an urban street artist because my background is basically like comic books plus Graffiti art as well, because I was involved in that as a kid. So I tend to use all the items that I used then, like spray paint, acrylics, uh, hot glue, things like that. Do you have an artist or artists that inspire you? Marta Alicia. She has. She's always had. And I've always looked to her. Among us, I know more friends of us, but first, her. She's always very generous with her time. She always is, uh, would look out and give advice to artists, whatever question she had. It never was an issue for her. She never had an issue sharing her, her um, place where she's gone and done things. And, um, that influenced me to do the same way. The same way she passes information, I do it as well. Um, even with techniques, whatever, I got things from her. She reached out to me and she said, would you like, you know, I would like you to be part of it. I said, of course, I, I'd never say no to her. Also, part of the Bronx, um, I grew up here. I have my studio here in the Bronx. Um, I think, the, um, you know, the boroughs, they have, you know, their own uh, collectors, whatever, and it's, it's lacking a little bit in the Bronx. But it's the Bronx coming up. There's a lot of organizations coming, a lot of uh, art, art coming up here. So I think that's great. I wish there was things like this when I was younger. Um, I know at school they had art programs or whatever, but nothing compared to like this where outside venues are doing these types of um, um, showcases or art shows. Right. Um, 
But again, like I said before, the, in the Bronx, I think a lot of that is changing. You know, I've seen things similar to this in Harlem and in Brooklyn and in Queens, but the Bronx, um, no. But, it, I, but I think the, with something like this, maybe they'll change it. The one thing I was always found interesting about the bride was it was almost like a like a her resurrection coming back to life. And I think all of us at one point in life we have like our downs, and then we have a year or or a month where we just rise from from where we were, you know, previously. Whether it's you know um, going through something personal or or financial, or whatever. And this year for me actually started like that. I didn't have a very good beginning of the year, but then um, as, the, as the year went on, the months came on, um, things got really good and actually I'm ending it on a really, really good note. I got to go back to Puerto Rico and visit family and spend some time there. I actually did the, the banner for the float for AOC in the parade. Um, so yeah, so this year, the way it started off not so great, but it's ending on a really high note. this almost every week. We can have out live painting. I'm, I'm all for it. I, I, you know, there's nothing better than coming to set up your easel and just 
start, because just lose yourself on the canvas and painting and just think, even close out all the surroundings of you don't even hear it after a while. Remember that you know, do it for the love. You know, don't do it because you think you're going to be a famous artist or you're going to be a millionaire out of it. Paint because you love it. Paint because it's what something you do. Um, the same way, as how I see it, I, I see it as this is a gift that God gave me. So who am I to waste it?